to another Speedy Clark production. So, some very exciting news tonight. I uh, came back home and picked up on an email from my coach, Expresso Cycle Coaching, inviting me to attend uh, a training camp. So, it's like a bit of a, it's an invitation one only, like for some exclusive riders. So, for elite road riders. So, uh it's really good to be able to get that opportunity to um, train. Now, it's going to be a... It's just a two-day event. However, it's going to be 300 miles within the two days. At an average speed of 18 to 20 miles an hour over some fantastic roads in Scotland, climbs, etc. So, it's going to be pretty tough. Um, and uh, the people that I'll be riding with, you know, they're power to weight. And, you know, they're uh, elite ranking, elite category. So super super chuffed to even be asked to go along because it is invitation only um so that is telling me that things are going in the the right direction um and it, it's just really great because obviously last year even though i had a great start to the year got the john O'Groats to land's end uh, really record i i had that terrible horrible virus that laid me up and put me off the bike for nine weeks and off work for about five-ish weeks, I think. And uh, and it took a long time to come back and recover for that. So even though I started riding the bike after nine weeks, um, nine weeks and the virus eating away at me and, and the, the weight that I lost, even though I'm quite lightweight anyway, but the, the real extreme weight I lost, you know, really stripped me down. So to be able to get back and then be asked to do something like that in relatively short period of time given the illness that i had so you know i didn't start training properly again till october so i've managed to get a good full winter and the weather hasn't been so great here and as you know i was in poland for three weeks with some quite extreme weather and snow so it was very difficult to train outdoors it was mostly indoor training so to be able to get the opportunity and even ask to do this uh, is very, very good. So I'll see how it goes, see if I can attend the training camp. It'll certainly be very, very good and boost me for the rest um, of the season. So fantastic. Really looking forward to it. So I'll keep you posted on that one. Um, this is just a quick update film. Say they bring some more film content during the week. And so check out the up and coming films for the weekend now i am on the lookout for a new bike so hmm what to get what to get as you know i'm a big fan of giant i absolutely love giant bikes for me they're well made they're lightweight they they feel really nice the geometry is great uh and importantly because i purchase my bikes and um, they're great value for money so i'm very very happy with the uh, giant products so i have been looking at the giant propel ultegra disc aero so there's two versions um of the ultegra there's the the standard Ultegra disc with mechanical Ultegra group set. Um, the the relatively lightweight aero frame, but with a slightly heavier fork. Or there's SL version with DI Ultegra. So mechan um, so you know electronic shifting and built-in power meter, which is a bit more expensive, but overall great value for money. So I need to talk nicely with my wife. Um, or I could go back to the TCR. Now, I did have the giant TCR. I loved the TCR. I did sell the giant TCR, not because there was anything wrong with it, but just because at that point in time, I needed to do that and I wanted to make a little change to go to the aero. But there was a bit of a delay. But overall, the TCR is phenomenal bike. Super lightweight, super fast, feels fantastic on the climbs. Uh, and you can put aero wheels on it. Um, but I'm thinking I would like to give the Propel Disc a go because I've ridden the TCR and I love it. You know, 9 out of 10 without a shadow of a doubt. The reason why the 9 out of 10 are not 10 out of 10 is because in terms of speed, weight, it's all bang on perfect, yeah? But 
the problem I found with the TCR, and yes, it does have a problem, despite me loving it and preferring it to most bikes out there, there is a slight problem, and that is over 35 miles an hour going downhill. So I found, in, because the bike is actually so light, and the back end is so light, it almost, going downhill at about 60 kilometers an hour, hitting nearly 60 kilometers an hour, with a little bit of a side or diagonal wind. If the wind's directly in front of you, it was kind of okay. If it's directly behind you, it's okay. But to a slight side window, you know, with your angles, etc. I was finding that the back end was, whoa, there was like a lot of bufferton. And I was having to brake and actually slow the bike down because it felt so unstable. It was like, it was like a mega speed wobble. It was like having a major speed wobble, um, which was actually pretty scary. Uh, and I remember during the record uh, on the A38, ba, 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 the A38, there was quite a bit of a side. It was like a tailwind, but at an angle, so it was kind of hitting you from the side, but still pushing you forward. And the, oh my God, I was going downhill and I was hitting nearly 40 miles per hour, 60 kilometers an hour. And I got this immense speed wobble and I had to take it down to 30. Uh, and you know, and and keep it kind of there for it to sort itself out. But it was it was pretty scary actually. I just felt like I was going to lose control of the bike. So that is the only thing. It was really strange. It almost felt like the back end was slightly detached, but only at that speed. Uh, you know, below that speed and with a without the wind being to the side or at a slight side angle, it was absolutely fine. Um, so I'm also very light as well, so that may not have helped, you know, only like 61 and a half kilos uh, on a super lightweight that's only borderline UCI legal minimum weight. So that, you know, that may have happened. So what should I do? Please comment. Giant Propel Disc Ultegra or Giant TCR Ultegra with aero wheels. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and check out this weekend's films because it's going to be a good one. All right. Cheers. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.